Hi, welcome to Loadrunner Tutorials. Today we are going to see how to prepare performance testing estimations. See, testing estimations uh, means you, are, you have given one requirement, okay, that according to that business requirement, you have to prepare proper scripting in virtual user generator, which will uh, component of Loadrunner. So for that, how much time you will require so it depends on what are the number of uh, <coughs> employees are means uh, performance testers are there and uh, what are the priority works are there so what are the major projects you are working on suppose this is a major project you are working on so whether automation uh, means a build is stable so before releasing to the performance uh, testing so all these are will be included while doing performance testing and as well as performance testing estimation suppose you have given performance testing esti estimation but uh, that bill is under uat <coughs> so at that time you can't do performance testing so giving estimation is different and execution is different so instead of giving any test estimation just check whether those application is stable to perform the particular load testing on your applications <coughs> see now today we will see so what are how to prepare performance testing estimation before performing or taking approval from the test lead or manager from clients so how much time it will take to prepare thus performance script execution plus analysis as per the scenarios see <coughs> here is a business process so I am going to send an email. So I am using a script as a Gmail. This is a Gmail I am using. For example, sending an email. Okay, this is charting. Coming to <coughs> coming to this script, sending an email having it is a one transaction. So in transactions, how many steps will be there? First, you need to open Gmail, right? Second, login with valid credential. Okay. Okay. Login with valid valid credentials, and uh, it will display display inbox. Okay. Now here you need to click compose enter two orders that is the email id in case you want to enter cc comma subject ok enter body so what are the body you want to write so if you want if you have any attachments ok etc click on send button ok these are the one transaction so instead of simply saying send an email gmail send email script so this is a types we have to prepare before estimating your script for performance ok these are transact this is a one transaction gmail login value in display inbox click compose so here you need to put verification point So whether that page is displayed or not, the compose one window will open at uh, CC subject enter board attachment etc. Click on send after sending it will display so your email is sending. Please wait something it will display for synchronization purpose. Those also you need to write in script. So based on these transactions, as per your scenario business process, you need to prepare this performance scripting number of hours how much time it will take to perform this script this user actions okay let's see <clears throat> see i have one business process is send an email which is a gmail perform script name so scripting coming to scripting as per scripting you need to provide the user number of hours as per your available users and available transactions 
steps everything you need to consider okay see virtual script recording for coming to http or web applications mostly we are using scripting part okay why because uh, we if you want to prepare manually it will take so much time why because they, it is uh, while scripting you can see number of urls are recording which is include js css okay jquery so different different files also included okay so if you, manually it's not possible okay for recording it will take two hours. i am giving two hours okay suppose it, this is i am giving for one user only one employee which is working on performance scripting okay for particular project he is having major different different projects he is working on parallelly so as per those you need to prepare first of all option is a script recording so this is a simple scenario this is a step we need to perform it will take two or two and a half pi okay two or three hours you can mention based on uh, work priority work major projects so script validation script coming to script validation you need to validate the script with other this is a verification point means validating the script means verification point and you need to add once again once you record the script your script will be over okay when you replay it will should execute successfully if there is no correlations or parameters parameterized testing it's not there Just simply execute one then it will verify the script is running properly or not okay that will be performed including this one verification points will become correlation will become so which is for uh, dynamic values okay uh, parameterization will come so this one it will prepare it will take and uh, preparing test data also it will take time okay next uh, script enhancement this one we will call as a test data and uh, perform uh, sorry parameterization if you have any dynamic value want to pass with number of test data okay suppose i want to test for 1000 records or maximum mostly we can use 25000 why because controller hitting number of request in within one second okay 25000 records test data okay for that one for this one you need to <coughs> check whether what are the dependent models are there suppose sending email after click on sending emails okay it will as uh, send request to server and it will check for database so okay then it will send for response to http so everything will comes under okay x enhancement unit to provide it will take 3 hours while we got test data unit to prepare so okay everything it will keep a parameterization unit to come you need to prepare csv file okay you need to you have any xml or csv like that okay run time settings okay Uh, once everything is done so parameterization correlation and the functions functions you can use functions to validate the script functions to validate the script same like this okay so once everything is done then we can go for a script execution it will take stop for 45 minutes or 30 minutes mostly so if there is no errors if is errors we need it will take time okay once everything is work fine 2 hours 1 hours 3 hours so totally the 6 hours right 6.5 hours so next coming to load runner so we need to include load runner scenarios also so here your load runner scenarios we are preparing the particular scenario for <coughs> sending an email gmail send email script as per the number of user suppose 100 virtual users are hitting it at times with our server whether all mails are sending or not so like the scenarios you can prepare and for that one 30 minutes uh, see 30 simply i'm uh, opening the controller and create the scenario so i'm entering number of uh, virtual users to run which is simultaneously or one by one two years within a 15 seconds 30 seconds like that so how much time you, you uh, third one will come how much time you want to run one for one hour two hours or three hours okay this will be everything will be done okay here this uh, configuration only this one controller scenario means configuration simply you need to prepare four step scenario this is a very easy in coming lesson we will see and scenario execution see 
Synod execution, exactly we need to ask the require uh, developers, we need to talk to developers. So whether the server, what are the server we, we have taken for performance testing, that server is up and running every time. 24 hours it should be run, then only you can perform script execution on load controller. Okay, controller, load runner. So it is here I am giving to be decided. Why? Because so how much time you want to run? One hour, two hour, three hours, or four? It depends on requirement. How much? How many users will hit within a second? So like this, according to this one, it will vary. You are coming to analysis report. It is very easy. Once script execution is done, report will be generated from controller. You can use you can use controller from window. You can use simply click on results and analysis report. It will display every report. Okay, it will hardly it will take uh, 15 minutes to generate reports. It will which will come uh, HTML reports. Okay, everything will be displayed in analysis. Well. Uh, Coming to analysis, it is having a different different graphs, okay, and uh, different different uh, everything will display different different graphs, hits per second and the transactions per second. So how much time it has run, how much throughput it has used, so how many transactions passed and how many are fails. Everything will be displayed here in analysis report, okay. For this one, it will take four hours. Why? Because you need to understand how much CPU is used, how much memory he used. So it will come under profiling. Profiling means it will having a memory consumption of CPU, method time, consumption as well as after full stack of the method card. Different different method card we are Those will be obtained by HTTP diagnostics. Okay, this will we will see in next lesson, in upcoming lesson HTTP diagnostic, which is useful for. You need to check what are the server CPU, how much it is used. Suppose I am, I am checking two servers. One server is hitting at a time two servers. In production, actually, we are using mostly we are using mostly users or companies are using around 12, 13 servers individually. So suppose one application which is having load and with huge number of users daily. So within one server it's not possible they are using different different servers in different different locations okay all servers are maintained in one location okay as per profiling means you need to check every server memory how much it is consuming how much time it is taking what are the logs we have to check everything we need to check how server is behaving everything will be done on the profiling it will take some time it is not easy to Calculate the number of one. This is to be to be decided. This one, this one also to be this one also to be decided. So the total hours is so total hours is 11, 11. So same like different different scenarios, you can prepare and send it to your project manager or Tesla. He will review everything and once confirmed, we'll send it to business. So these are the requirement scenarios we have identified and we are preparing the script as per this. Uh, man hours one one man hour means eight hours okay one man hours means eight hours. one man means eight hours okay like this it will prepare your performance test script estimation okay, for particular project okay in coming lesson we will see how business is giving requirements so what are those response time exactly they want so as per those we need to prepare test estimation and as per that we have to prepare different different transaction steps also whatever i have given this one will be given by business and we need to prepare the steps actions everything okay yeah thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe for more videos